out here for the first time, uh, if you can't have a good day day one, you got some serious problems. What was the wow factor when they all walked into the new locker room and facilities? Oh, it was nice. I mean, no question. I, I, you know, we finished up meetings. We had meetings this morning, and and we got done about 10, 15, and then lunch was at 11. And so I was going down to kind of check the locker room, see what it looked like. And there were 50 guys in there, all scattered through the chairs and playing the video games and hanging out in there. It was, it was pretty cool to see all those guys together like that. How does that translate onto the field? Well, I think, you know, these guys spend a lot of time together, and but for them to have the ability to sit and relax, whether it's after meetings, after practice, before practice, uh, to be together, to unwind, I think that's huge. Six and five, Russ, is, is a good season for a lot of places. It wasn't great here because uh, of the success in previous years. What do you have to do to build on that? Yeah, I mean, it's obvious six and five at the University of Richmond's not good, and, and that's not the standard here for sure. But, um, you know, I think another year in, this, in the systems for our offensive and defensive guys is, is going to be so helpful for us. Um, you know, I, our guys know us. We know them. We know what to expect. They, they know how we coach. Um, so I, I think just that part of it, I think, is going to make us a better football team. Outside of staying healthy, what's the number one thing, or maybe the top two things you want to see throughout the next three weeks? Is there something outside of staying healthy? I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, uh, shoot, I, you know, I would, uh, you know, I think we need to see our offensive line gel, you know, see the best five there and try to figure out who the best five are. And, and you know, he'll do a lot of interchanging. I mean, moving from guard to tackle. Yards will probably play some tackle from center. I mean, he's going to be our center. But, you know, if Clayton McConnell does a great job, maybe we can we can move Yarb somewhere. So that's going to be something that we're going to look very closely at here for the next two or three weeks, especially when you put pads on to see what they can do. You know, defensively, we feel real good about linebacker. I mean, especially getting Billy Coggle back and, and the two young guys behind, you know, and then obviously Dale and Ruben are, are quality, quality players. Depth up front, we're going to have to establish some depth. We may have to play a, a true freshman, um, either in the rotation or close to it. Uh, so we're going to have to build some depth up there. And then in the secondary, I think we're skilled enough that we can we can play. I don't think we're deep, but uh, uh, we got some good players back there. Coach, uh, how would you feel about Kevin running the offense coming out of the spring? And, I mean, they're leaving some confidence going into the fall? Yeah, no question. I mean, when I got here last year, we did we we did watch the playoff games and and saw how well he played and and immediately said let's keep Kyle healthy and let's redshirt him so we can get two more years out of him um, but you know he he practiced like he was playing every game last year which really helped him I know the year previous you know they they were playing on redshirting so he was down on the scout team and he wasn't getting those kind of snaps and for us you know it was it was a thing where he was ready every week. He traveled. He was a part of the plan. And, uh, and I think having two springs with us and then that fall, I think, is really going to help him to know the offense and be really, really good. I mean, you guys have seen him. He's got a gun. I mean, uh, he runs well enough to do some things that we want to do with the quarterback run stuff. So um, we're probably pretty fortunate and lucky to have him. Well, and, and along those lines, I mean, I know you won depth that position, but I mean, one less thing you can kind of sigh a relief about when you lose one of the best quarterbacks in program history, having a guy that's, that's been there and been in the trenches, has he? Yeah, I mean, anytime you get that experience and you're out there on the field um, playing in big games. I mean, it wasn't like he was playing in mop-up duty. You know, it's pretty easy to come in and look pretty good when you're up 45 nothing. You know, anybody, you know, hand the ball off, he looked pretty good doing that. But when he goes into playoff games, and it's crunch time. He had a week to prepare. I mean, that was that was something pretty impressive. How much different do you anticipate practice being or looking for your freshmen and guys who might otherwise have been redshirted and to know in the back of their mind they could get in a game this year and not lose their redshirt? Year? Well, it, it'll be different just because of you know all the special teams work we're going to have to do with them for sure. But we we've, we've kind of planned practice where we're going to work with those guys. You know, the, the, we'll work with the older guy. They'll get reps, obviously, in some capacity during the practice, but we're going to spend more time after practice with them uh, to get them up to speed as quickly as possible. So they'll get they'll get a lot of reps in, and 
Um, you know, sometimes you think, well, we got too deep all the way across the board. You know, why spend an extra 20 minutes out here? But I think those guys got to come along pretty quick. We're going to probably have two offensive, two freshmen in the two deep on the offensive line uh, this year. So those those guys will get get thrown in pretty quick. How do you feel uh, with your relationship with the entire roster in the program now that you've had a, a full year to get through? And, and how much further are you along personally this year? I think all of us as coaches are way further along. I think we're better. You know, when you know your team, um, you know, you, you just get better as a coach. And I think our coaches will be better this year. Um, you know, as a team, I still wish we had more depth. But uh, you probably, if you go to Delaware, Stony Brook, William & Mary, everywhere, they're probably sitting there saying the same thing. We'd like more depth. We all would, I guess. But, you know, we're going to, if we can get three defensive tags, three defensive ends to produce, we'll roll them like that. But um, I think we're all ahead of the game, players and coaches.